Yo, it's your buddy Tail. We're taking a look at the MPC 2000 XL uh, today. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. Um, we're replacing the uh, floppy disk drive with a card reader. Um, that's about the most satisfying sound you can get in life. So I, I'm gonna keep this around. I don't have any floppies, but I don't know if I find some Carmen San Diego game on floppy. I'm definitely gonna pick that shit up. Um, so we're going to need a few things before we start. First step, what's your operating system? Um, you're going to hold shift, hit that 2, hit that F3, and you got your version. If you're on 1.14, you can go with an SCSI drive. I don't really fuck with that. I've had only bad experiences with other people's and mine with 1.14. So if you want to do that, I don't know, Google's your friend, but not me. Um, Go to 1.2. You can buy floppies with 1.2 on them on eBay for like seven bucks, or better yet, just burn your own. But definitely don't remove your floppy disk drive until you upgrade your operating system because your card reader will not register to upgrade your operating system. Um, so then we're gonna need a, a power cable for your card reader. Um, for me, my, my Molex connection from my motherboard to my card reader my floppy disk drive had this four pin mini Molex um, so does my card reader so I didn't have to do anything except unplug the floppy uh, if you're going from a zip drive you might need to make some modifications I'll link that below um, it's really really easy next thing you're gonna need IDE cable 40 pin excuse the gendered term female to female um, at least six inches to get to the card reader uh, yeah, 40 pin, it's gonna be great. If it's 39 pin and has one of these little holes blocked, you can get a little drill bit and pop it through, but I don't know, 40 pins are like five bucks on eBay. You can do this whole thing for like 30 bucks, it's really easy. All right, then we should probably get a card reader. Uh, the StarTech and Adonix, they're basically the same exact thing. Um, I went with the Adonix, uh, it's like 25 bucks, um, won't set you back much. Um, definitely get an IDE AT API. That's the connection you're going to be making. Um, if you're on MPC forums or whatever and people are shouting about AT API, now you know what's going on. Um, and lastly, you're going to need actual cards to put things on. You know, people have told me all about the sand disks. I don't know if they're China knocks, but for me, they don't work at all, even a little bit. Um, but my Transcend is my beautiful baby. This thing is a fucking tank of a machine. Um, it's like the Motorola Razor of flashcards. Just will never be not the hottest thing out. Um, so that's how we're gonna start. So let's get our screwdriver and take this this puppy apart. All right, you see what we got going on here? This power cable right here, uh, right next to our where our floppy drive was plugged in, um, goes straight into the card reader. Um, again, you might have to make that modification, but this one works perfectly. Over here, your IDE is going to go straight into your last port on the left, right here, or right from your perspective. But bottom line is going to see ATAPI right next to it. It's the port next to the floppy drive. Now, the SCSI drive is here, and some tutorials tell you to plug in there, but that's for an SCSI drive. And today we're working with an ATAPI, so it's going to go right, right here. Um, the trickiest part about all this, definitely, is uh, how to mount your your card reader, because a lot don't come with brackets. So once you've got um, your card reader set in place and it works and test it and make sure all that's good, you're going to get self-tapping screws from Ace Hardware or whatever. Self-tapping means that um, they thread themselves. Um, you can't put a, a screw into metal. It'll, it'll, uh, it'll just strip the screw. What you want to do is get a self-tapping screw so it makes its own threads uh, in a spiral through your card reader. So be careful about that. You know, measure it out. I'm not going to explain all that. That's just, you know, basic intuition. Just mark it. Make sure you're not drilling into some, like, you know, brain of the whole thing. Now, your card has to be set to master. It can't be set to slave. Um, so that's really important. That's an overlooked thing. Another thing is if your card isn't working or isn't showing up. Um, my first problem when I did this and it wouldn't work is that this wasn't pushed in hard enough. Um, so see these little clamps, you're gonna clear those out of the way real good, push that way deep in there, 
Like, I'm talking Gandalf deep and clamp that puppy down so it just can't move. Uh, once you worked all that out, um, once you go to shift load, it'll come up as ATAPI instead of floppy. Um, now keep in mind this drive is not hot swappable, so any any card you put in there you can't remove while the NPC is on, and uh, it just won't show up if you put it in later. So if it's not showing up for you, I recommend to turn it off, put, put it in again, make sure it's snug. Um, and if it still doesn't come up, if it's still coming up as floppy and there's no ATAPI drive option, um, you're going to want to, for me, I had to unplug my IDE cable and plug it back in, switch the thing around. Uh, they can be really, like, fuck with a bull. Like, just keep switching it around, um, push it in harder, clean the pins, anything like that. Um, make sure the power cable is connected. Test things if you can. Plug the drive into a computer and make sure it works. Um... And lastly, just get a different compact flash card. Like, the Transcends work for me, but for some people they don't. And I've had at least 50 people on some dumbass forum tell me that this was going to work, and it definitely does not. Um, so I don't know what to tell you. Just keep on giving it a shot. Leave a comment. I'll do my best uh, to answer. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching.